Hey everyone, this is AVJV Gaming bringing you episode 4 of this trading series. As you can see here, we're on 53,000 coins in 3 days, which is an absolutely crazy amount. And I uh, haven't been upload able to upload over the weekend because I was not too well. But uh, this is a bit of trading over Sunday. And as you can see, we've got 53,000 coins, but now we've got 51,000 coins. So I spent a bit over 2k and uh, picked up these items. As you can see, a center forward strike over 2,000 coins, uh, 451 for 150, and a 4231 for I think it was 250. So uh, I picked up the center forward strike in an open bid of 2,000 coins. It was actually really, really cheap because uh, at the time they were going for around 8k, but I list mine up for I think it was a 7k buy now. And um, hopefully, try to sell it. I did a mistake here putting it up for three hours when I should have actually put it up for only uh, an hour because as you can see the prices in the market do always change very quickly and uh, it's probably a mistake but I list these two up here yeah I did pick up the uh, 4231 for 200 coins and uh, hopefully you're just trying to make a, a 500 coin profit on those sort of things um, that's what you can really hope for the fallback formations and then I pick up some uh, right wings to right mids I pick up two of them literally they were back to back in the market and uh, they had open bids, no one was bidding on them, so I thought go and put a bid on them, make some money off those sort of items. And uh, I think they go for around 2,000 coins in the market at the moment in the Xbox market, so those are very good items to sort of trade because they always go into the uh, very important 4-1-2-1-2 formations and the 4-4-2 formations. So uh, I just quickly list these up here, they both got a, a, quite a decent buy now of around 2,000 coins, one's 1,800, one's 2,000, and so we'll check on what happened and what's sold. As you can see here we've got a uh, only two items left to see that sold, and uh, pretty much everything sold for buy now except for the four two three one, and the center forward striker did expire because no one wanted to bid on it. So uh, here I am just uh, making it a bit cheaper. Uh, I think I put it for six thousand four hundred eventually for the buy now. Yeah, I did, and I list it for an hour. So I remove these from the trade pile, and uh, as you can see, this is a screen capture of the web app, and you can see that it did sell for six thousand four hundred. It's by now price, and um, as you can see, I'm 57,000 coins. I went and picked up six items, and uh, picked up some formation cards, position cards, and then a goalkeeper, a player. As you can see, I picked up for 250 coins. Picked this one up for 350. Picked the goalkeeper up for 500, which was actually really cheap. I uh, picked up the CDM to CM for 1,500, a buy now price at six hours, and uh, some more uh, formation cards. So I'll just start off by listing up the uh, four three one twos, and um, for these sort of cards. Hopefully their market price will increase as Black Ops I think comes out. I think I've said before, um, their price will naturally go up because less people will be buying packs because people will be on that game instead of being on FIFA as much. Uh, Romando I was not too sure on his price, so I just said I'll list him a bit later. But the CDM to CM card goes for around 3,000 coins in the market. Uh, 2,800 is probably the more accurate I could give. Um, and um, picking up for a 1,500 buy now was actually really good. So I found that through the uh, Ultimate Database and. Uh, as you can see, I'm listing up Romando for around I want around 1,000 coin profit. If I can make 2,000, that'd be great. But as you can see here, go into the trade pile again. I picked up another item, and I picked up this center forward to center attack in mid for 1,000 coins by now. And this was at uh, 24 hours on the web. I think it was 23 hours when I picked it up, and it had a 1,000 buy now, which you know is great because they if you go into a bidding, all those things go in excess of 2,000 coins. So um, I list mine up for 1,200 start price with the 2,000 buy now. And literally within 15 minutes of it being up, it did sell almost instantly. So uh, you know the 2,000 coin profits, 2,000 coin over there, which is 1,000 coins profit, which is you know appreciated. And then Romando went, I think, 20 minutes after. Uh, he went for his buy now price 2,500, which is a uh, a 2,000 coin profit, which is, you know is always you know accepted and taken because you want to make as much coins as possible. As you can see, this is a trade pile, and uh, I did go for a break and uh, came back, and so everything didn't disappear instantly after it sold. And uh, you can see everything sold. Uh, well, everything the three items sold out of the five. Uh, two things expired, and um, the coins have not been put in the account. But if I leave the trade pile, go back in, they both disappear, and uh, we've got two items left, and the coins are at 66,000 coins, which is great because we're making money. So uh, I make everything a bit cheaper, um, hopefully trying to get that 1,000 buy now, but we'll see what happens with that. And um, I'll go pick up some more items. So as you can see, I went to the uh, went and picked up a few items, and I mainly looked at players at the moment. So I um, looked at the silver players from the MLS, because um, those are the ones that have got the majority of silver players, which 
go for really high prices. As you can see, I picked a Romanda there for 1,500, and Benitez for, I think it was uh, 600 coins, open bid. But Cummings here, I picked him up for 750, 700 coins, and uh, I did get into a bidding war. Uh, Boyd here, I picked him up. As you can see, his discard price is uh, 270, 247 coins, and I picked a Romando for 1,500 coins. Uh, he was on an open bid, and no one was really picking him up in the market, but I did find out that Sunday evening he was going for around 5k, so uh, missed out an opportunity there to sell him for much higher because I didn't know how the MLS leagues were performing. But as you can see, Benitez, I list him up for around 2,000 coins. I was not too sure on his price. I think uh, at the time, I remember looking after I sold him, he was going for around 3,000 in the market. So missed out on potential profit there, but I did sell him for 1,400 coin profit. So um, I think, as you can see, there's around... 11 minutes left on those items and I think there's around 40 minutes left on 45 minutes left on the other players so what I'll do is I'll clear them from the trade pile and as you can see here the uh, 4312 card sells for its buy now of 800 coins uh, still 9 minutes left and around 45 minutes left on those items so uh, we'll be back and just see what happens with those in a little bit but that's great that the formation card is selling so it's giving us our money at the end of the day and giving us a return quickly and um, then I went back into the trade pile after you know searching the watch list for bidding on certain other players, and uh, Romando went for his 2,500 buy now, which is a 1,000 coin profit, not including the tax, and um, which was great news because now it's just helping us get those coins back quickly, and uh, we're selling players, which is always you know a bad thing. But I go into the watch list here to show you guys how to look for players, how to bid. As you can see, Benitez really cheap left back in a five back formation, which doesn't have a left. Uh, left back, it has a left wing back, so uh, those are sort of things you can look out for. And um, if you convert the player, you'll actually end up making a bit more money. Hopefully, if you look in the market and uh, understand the market and see how much he's going for, it will help you to make a bit more profit. But as you can see here, I'm searching for a player from the MLS, a Colombian, and his name's Castillo. And uh, as you can see here, there's right forwards, and I'm mainly looking for the right forwards, not the right mids, because they cost a lot more to change up to a right forward. So the cheapest one in the market was 3,500 by now. And um, the one I was bidding on was in a five-back formation. So what I was going to do is go and pick up a formation card, apply it to him, and um, make him have him make him in this formation, and then put him cheaper than their their current buy now in the market to hopefully sell him much quickly. So as you can see here, I win that Benitez for, for quite cheap. Uh, that Benitez, the last Benitez that I didn't bid on was. Um, he went in a crazy bidding warps in uh, he went up to 3000 coins so as you can see Castillo here and uh, Benitez I picked them up quite cheap I got the formation cards for Castillo for 350 and for Benitez it was 400 coins so uh, it adds a bit more to their value and I was trying to make at least double the profit in Castillo here and uh, and Benitez here pick up 400 coins add 400 to him at 800 and uh, I wanted to make at least 1000 coins profit minimum on him so I listed him up for 2200 uh, no, I didn't. Uh, I went and checked his price. I can't remember too well, but as you can see here, the 4411 card was not selling. It was, you know, quite a pain. But then I think I did list Benitez. I think it was for 2,400 coins. If I, if I'm correct, I think I'd do it here. Um, I put it cheap so everyone can find it on the market. You know, just go and find that card. 2,500 coins. And um, went in the trade, went out the trade pile for a bit. Went into the auctions and came back and I saw some suddenly some coins was in the account. So I said I saw that both of them sold. I don't know if someone was making a Dallas team in the 4-3-2-1 formation, but uh, they pretty much sold. That's literally 5k from two players that didn't cost me barely. Uh, around I think it was 1,800 coins. So you know, it's a great profit on them too. And um, we're around 70,000 coins now, which is you know, absolutely great. And uh, I go and I think I'm just waiting for the items to sell. As you can see, Boyd sells for 350 coins. Uh, it's, I think, 150 coins on him. But he's not got a bad shooting stat for his rating, but his pace, I think, it looks, lets, lets him down because there's much higher uh, pace cards in the MLS. So um, we wait for Cummings to expire, and then he sells for 900 coins, which he went for his start price, not really his buy now. I was looking for him to sell for his buy now, but. Um, 200 coins profit. Uh, at the end of the day, it's all needed because we're going to get our coins back. And then we wait for a bit, and I think the uh, 4411 card does eventually sell and um, puts us on to 72,000 coins. So um, I'm pretty much at this point just waiting for this card to sell. And as you can see, we're on 72,000 coins after it's sold. Uh, nothing left in trade pile, nothing left in the watch list. So if you did enjoy this episode, um, Please leave a like, it's most appreciated, and subscribe, and uh, hopefully episode uh, 5 will be out within two days, because I won't be able to release it uh, tomorrow, as I'm very busy, but um, 
hopefully you guys enjoyed this episode and um, this has been AVJV Gaming catch you all next time